Hey, it's a little brighter out here this evening. It's about 5 p.m. And I'm just about to start hand sanding these blades back to their finish and take it even above where it was. So, uh, yeah, they're looking really great. I don't think it'll take too much uh, effort to get it back. I don't see any bad nicks or dings or anything. I'm going to start it off, try it with a 180. If I find any nicks, I might have to go back down a little bit to, to carve out, carve them out. But we should be good to go. Now I'll say again what I've said so many times on these videos. Buy good sandpaper. 3M paper is about the best that I've found. 3M is just absolutely top notch. I'm using a little bit of cold cutting fluid here. Just helps keep uh, the sandpaper clean. Keeps the dust down. I just enjoy working with it. Makes the whole process a little nicer. This is a 220 grit finish here now, so we did 180 and then 220 you're seeing here, which is a beautiful finish. We're going to go further. Got the cell phone here. I'm listening to uh, uh, the Daily Wire, Sunday special. Joe Rogan is on there talking to good old Benny Shapiro. You got to have something to keep you entertained sometimes, music or, or videos or something like that, because this is just a slow, monotonous process. Nothing to be done but move your hands back and forth. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And uh, you're done when the scratches are uniform. So back to it. Now after 220 we'll go to 400. That's the next grit I have. So Just accidentally ran my uh, finger along that edge. Didn't realize it was getting sharp and I got a little bit careless I guess in sanding and I just opened her up there right along. Just sanding like this with my little sanding block on the top of my finger. Youch! If you can see right right there. Opened her up. Sorry for getting blade on your or getting blood on your blade, buddy. Oh boy, that one smirts. And it is deep too. It is pretty deep. My wife's going to be mad with me again. She says every time I come out here I end up doing something to myself. I tell her it's just the law of averages because I spend so much time working with blades and edges. And just bound to get cuts and scrapes and nicks. And unfortunately there have only been a, a couple bad ones. Woo! That stings trying to get a little bit of pressure on it here <coughs> think if I had to put this towel and tape on before we wouldn't have had this issue And this glove will put a little bit of elastic pressure on it because with that uh, material on there now it's going to be a little bit tight. Oh yeah. Good as new. I'll clean the bit of blood off the blade there and get back to work. Honestly I didn't realize this blade was uh, <laughs> was getting sharp here. So. Gotta knock that edge off. I can't be working on it with with a sharp like that. 
That is one tough edge. <laughs> That's a good heat treat right there. Now after a while of sanding, we are up to a 2000 grit here, and this is just right off the sandpaper. This is no buffing, so you'll probably see still some smudges and whatnot in the finish. Once we buff that out, that'll be a pretty much perfect mirror finish. But as you can see, my, my hands in the, in the finish there now, it's quite a good reflection as it is. Show you guys yourself here. There you guys are. If you look close, you might be able to see your own individual face. You might be able to pick it out of the group there. But uh, yeah, finish is coming out good. Good progress. This is a lot of work done here. Now we got to switch over and do the same thing to the little knife, which is not near as much work because it's so small. But uh, this thing is looking fantastic. We'll buff them both after, then we'll tape them all up, and uh, then it'll be handle work. But right now. Got a bunch more hand sanding to do. So here are our two blades at this point. So they're hand sanded up to 2000 grit and then buffed on the wheel with some polishing compound. And they look amazing. This companion here just came out so, so beautiful. Look at that convex grind transitions into the Rocasso there. Really proud of the work on this one. This is a great great pattern great design blade really good looking knife and of course this beast this is a crazy knife this thing is going to be a, a monster when it's done we get those scales on there we're doing matching scales for both of them i'm done here in the shop for tonight but uh we'll prep up some scales and get them glued on soon this thing is splendid hope you're enjoying it guys it's a fun process, a very creative process for me that I really enjoy. I really appreciate when you guys make orders like this that challenge me. Challenge me to do things that I wouldn't get to do normally. Just look at that. Yeah, I appreciate all your support. I really do. Thanks for watching this video. It means the world to me. Please hit the like button. I'd love for you to comment down below. Tell me which blade you like better out of these two. That'd be interesting to know. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one.